Hi, I'm Phil and today I'm going to show you a countdown timer that operates on uh, both the micro bit and also on my watch and um, I'm going to use the same development environment called Espruno Web IDE and the code is written in JavaScript uh, but for the um, micro bit it has um, slightly different routines and uh, particularly for the display but um, let's have a look at that um, on the uh, big screen on the PC this is the environment that I've set up for uh, the uh, for my watch and um, yeah, you can see the code over here it's not that long and it's divided into a countdown timer and a start timer and uh, most of the code is um, processing the uh, display so at the moment we're paired my Windows PC is paired with the um, watch and um, what I'm going to do is download the program and to do that I just simply um, uh, load it into the RAM area of the uh, computer so I'm going to load it in now and uh, what happens on the watch I've got a countdown timer and it's counting down now Now, what I'm going to do is um, show similar code on the uh, microbit computer. So we'll bring that up in a minute. We're almost finished. We count down to zero and we'll see what happens. Okay, so time's up. And uh, what we're going to do now is um, go to the um, load the microbit computer program so it's in projects electronics microbit microbit projects and under microbit projects it's um, Espruno projects and software and what we're going to do is show the latest um, timer on that so uh, you can see that it's actually come up in the uh, text mode so what we're going to do is load it and this is quite different the text mode and the blocky mode are uh, quite different so, and so you don't load the same programs uh, now we're going to uh, load it again and it's in ah so here's our uh, blocky program and it's a combination of both javascript and um, blocky code so it's um, actually quite easy to understand. Uh, what we have is the initialising uh, just over here, the variables. And uh, we've got the processing of the buttons. So for uh, button A, which is called button 1 here, and button button A actually sets the, uh, the minutes, and button B sets the hours. But button A actually has two roles. It also starts the uh, timer. And I've actually got a number of um, uh, functions which are display routines. And the really interesting one is a very small one, which is uh, display the binary on the micro bit. And uh, this particular countdown timer is very simple. It, um, the major routine is this one every second. It's um, going to go round. And if the timer flag is on, that is, uh, I press button A at some time. Uh, to start the timer flag it will decrement the seconds display the seconds uh, display the time and uh, decrement the minutes and hours and it then checks to see if our goal has been achieved so here's decrementing the minutes and um, over here we have the uh, checking the goal and finally this is the routine for adding offsets so that we have um, a binary uh, the, uh, for our micro bit. We show the time in binary and um, so what we're going to do now we're going to um, disconnect it from the watch and we're going to go to web Bluetooth and pair it over that. So we've got a choice there we can either have the bangle which is our watch or we can have the micro bit. So we're going to pair it with the micro bit and just let it connect 
and now it's connect, connected to uh, microbit what we'll now do is uh, download the program to our microbit and we just simply uh, press the button and again that goes into the RAM area of the microbit and here we go so uh, on our microbit it shows a message that it's going to reset and if I uh, press button A we'll just see what's happening on microbit it shows on the top two rows the seconds um, countdown uh, so that's in seconds for the uh, top the uh, top two rows the next two rows are the countdown for um, minutes and here you can see that the um, the minutes are um, five so there's five minutes and it's counting down the seconds and the bottom row is for hours so you can see the uh, countdown is in binary and uh, that's also been logged to the console on the uh, computer and uh, so what happens and right at the end I'll show you that um, separately okay so we now only have 15 seconds and we're counting down so we'll just see what happens uh, on the uh, console you can see that it's logging the, the time and um, it's logging the final seconds and right at the end it says finished so we get the uh, countdown and we've reached our goal uh, of um, six minutes <laughs>